Hi, welcome to Embedded C channel. In this video, we will see 10 secrets of I2C protocol. Before going into this video, if you are in this channel for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notification. If you end up liking this video, please press the like button. If you have any queries, doubts, suggestions, please post it in the comment section below. Let's go to the video. First one, the name itself. Yes, we will start with the name. I2C can be called as IIC, I square C, that is inter-integrated circuit that everyone knows. But it has one more name that is TWI. Nowadays people don't aware of this name. TWI stands for two wire interface. Atmel and other companies used this name to avoid trademark issue earlier. But now the term I2C is no longer trademarked. Second, slave address. Slave address can be 7 bit, 8 bit, 10 bit or custom bits wide. However, mostly 7 bit address will be used. This I2C slave address should be unique. The slave address is licensed out by NXP, who is the current owner of this protocol. Third one, start stop. In I2C, data bits only allowed to change when clock is low. The reason is I2C start stop records clock to be high. Fourth one data sampling. Every data is sampled at the rising edge of the clock by master or the slave based on the read or write. Fifth one, why pull up record in STACL lines? I2C lines are by default open drain configurations by the design, so it requires an external pull up. This will enable the lines to be high always and it can be pulled load to start and perform the data transfer. Sixth one, special slave address. When all the bits in slave address is zero and read write bit is also zero, then it's called as general call address. It is used to access all devices on the bus, which supports this general call feature. Seventh one, where can we see multi-master I2C? We can't see multi-master application easily in any embedded applications. The multi-master capability of I2C bus allows rapid testing on assembly line. Eighth one, no error correction. There are many embedded application uses I2C protocol, even there is no error correction in the I2C. Ninth one, debugging. While designing a I2C bus in a system, we may face many errors in hardware as well as software. So 
so it must be taken care on bus load capacitance and selection of pull-ups. However, fault diagnosis and debugging are simple. Malfunction can be immediately traced. Ten to one speed. We know I2C supports three different speeds that is standard up to 100 kilobits per second, fast up to 400 kilobits per second, high speed up to 3.4 megabits per second. However, these speeds are theoretical or identical speeds. It cannot be achieved in practical or actual application as the speed depends on different factors. If fast data rate is not the primary requirement, I2C would be the desired protocol. Yes, that's the end of the video. If you find it interesting, please share it with your friends and let us know in the comments below. Also post what kind of videos you want to see in our channel. Thanks for watching the video.